haven't heard, it is National Avocado Day. And today our producer Erica joins us to demonstrate how to dress up one of the most common appetizers using avocado guacamole. So we're really excited about this because <laughs> Eric has never, ever tasted guac in his whole life. Like, what so what kind of person is what? he? What? What? He's been in Texas for more than two years now mm -hmm. and has never had guac, so this will be quite the experience. So, Erica, oh, yeah. lead the charge. All right, so this is what I call my fake it till you make it guacamole. <laughs> All right. So, step one, you take your store-bought guacamole and scoop it into a bowl. Oh, this, is, this could get disastrous. If oh, I we're going to let you handle this. All right, so we are ditching the plastic to... You know, give it Fake a... Fake the funk. Yeah. <laughs> and you won't get judged at your next party because you brought it in a plastic container. All right, so we've got the guac in the bowl. What happens next? Well, it's going to look a little nicer here. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> now you want to go ahead and add your diced tomatoes, which we already have some here. All right. Just to, you know, give it some extra flavor, give it some color. A couple of tomatoes here. I've never had avocado, guacamole, any right. of this stuff. We've also got some diced onions. Of course, there has to be onions in it. Mr. Food would be so proud. Oh, would you do the honors? Uh, no, I'll, I'll put it, I'll, no, because I'll go like that and put in too okay, many onions. Okay, okay, so we'll just put a little bit. Open that up, Eric. Who? Open that up. Oh, I thought you said an empanada. Do you, like empanada. Your, do you like your guacamole to, or I guess you've never <laughs> had it. Do you like spiciness? I can do spicy. Because you can then drizzle on some of your favorite hot sauce. Oh, so I have never had guac with hot sauce. Okay. So never. We're going to try it today. My favorite uh -huh. is this Papatillo brand right okay. here. Okay. We're just going to, you know, add little some dab. color. Just a little so dab. it seems like that's more of a garnish. Mmm, good call. Good call with the garnish. All right. And this then, best part, the cilantro. Cilantro. Lay it on thick. I love cilantro. I don't know how What's much cool it on about means. this, all of the oh, ingredients are enough. homemade. <laughs> I shouldn't say homemade, but we're putting it together like it's homemade. I mean, I'm making it at home. You're making it so it's homemade, right? Yes. And then my favorite part, just to make it look <laughs> super pretty. Okay. You're going to cut the avocado in half. So we've got a little cutting board over here. All right. That, is that sharp enough for an avocado? Avocados are actually pretty soft. Really? So let's move the onion so you guys can see what's happening here. Oh, All right. A, there we go. We're going to cut it in half. She made that look so easy. <laughs> I do this all the time. Okay. And I'm just kidding. And then you're going to go ahead and just kind of... I was told specifically on a Friday not to have any sort of guacamole. You want to pop those chips open because I feel like we're getting to that point where it's almost time to taste it. So then you're going to take these three little pieces. All right. Kind of spread them on. Can make them look a little prettier. But you get the gist. You just so kinda, you get the gist. Eric did do the best it. job of making this all nice and pretty. Story but life. because we have this cute bowl, you have all of the garnishes on top, you are sure to fool your friends at your next party. And the best part, to make it fancier, <laughs> instead of just having your plain regular corn chips, we actually picked up some blue, blue corn chips to kind of mix them in, you know, your party bowl. They're more fun. Yes. So we're gonna They're more fun than just generic <laughs> chips. So, the moment we have all been waiting like for. Like the two have been waiting for this for. Weeks now. <laughs> That's I, not Eric, exaggeration. grab a blue tortilla. So, but, but like, is this supposed to get mixed first or is it just kind of. No, you just kind of dip it oh. in. And get a little bit of everything. That's all right, cool. guys. The moment of truth. And, uh, I don't really know how to go about We're it. holding our breath and crossing our fingers. Come on. Let's, come on. Come on. It's okay. The rest of that is avocado down there. This isn't working why, out why too well. Why is he making this difficult? <laughs> <laughs> Meteorologist Eric Brill. I am, All right, you ready? I am a male. All right. <sighs> this is a big moment here. <laughs> Oofa. What's the verdict? And the verdict is? It's vastly overrated. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I Patrick! How dare you do that? <laughs> Come on, Patrick, what do you think? What do you think? Patrick comes in to save the day. Learn from him, Grasshopper. Thank, thank you. Thank, and that is how you do homemade. It's vastly overrated. Guacamole. <laughs> it's not bad. Well, guys, before we go to break,